Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another video. We are on Assetto Corsa. Now, I have not been on this game, I, I'm probably going to say it since my last video, which is <laughs> even that's a long time ago. Um, so, I'm going back onto the game. Um, I have been jumping online into the a few lobbies, but they're mainly on that track. I think it's like Drift Playground, I'm pretty sure. The one that goes, sort of goes up the hills and like the hairpins, etc. Um, but I've only been going on that, but that track's fairly easy. Like it's very flowy, and you can let the wheel do most of the work, um, and it's quite simple. So I wanted to try and learn more the track and try and get me back into this game a bit more, because like when I go on drift playground, I still make stupid mistakes, and I think that's just because I'm not into this game again. If you know what I mean, like I'm not back and I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> that's pretty much what I'm saying here um, so on the screen I've jumped into Meehan um, I think the tracks like Meehan 2020 I think it's a different version to what I used to run like this was like two three years ago there must have been a different Meehan out and it had better camera angles and it had a I think it had a smaller track like up that hill to the left somewhere as well um, but this track doesn't have that um, the cameras like on this on Mihan, the one thing about this track is, like for me, is the entry. Um, I want to get the entry down. Um, once I've got the entry down, that's, this track's pretty much nailed because these little uh, little slalom bits and the ha hairpin on the far side, they're fairly simple. Um, but I just wanted to get the, the hairpin down. But unfortunately, the camera angles don't really show a good angle. At, um, so I'll show you as we come up to this corner now. But this wall here, like in real life, they run that wall um, and there's like bumpers literally touching the wall. And I'd love a camera angle to just sort of look at that, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm not in, I am not technical enough to try and place my camera to look at that. Um, so I'm going with the standard cam cameras. Uh, later on, we do start just running the entry backwards and forwards, uh, just trying to get the entry down because the rest of the track, like I was running it here. Uh, Obviously, I'm still very sloppy on the wheel because I'm still trying to learn it. It's a different wheel. I've brought a different wheel. Um, got rid of my Thrustmaster, which I had probably about three years ago now. Um, I got rid of it three years ago because I moved house and needed money, etc. But now we're settled. I've uh, got a nice house, nice house, got a nice desk, got a nice little gaming area. I decided to invest in a wheel again. I got a Logitech um, G920, I think it is. It's not the G29, it's like the same version, but for, I think it was for Xbox, I think it is, uh, it's the 920, for some reason they called it like that. Uh, but yeah, on your screen, just, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not really paying attention, I'll, I'll try and highlight when I do something cool, but I don't think there's anything too special in here, I did do a rever reverse entry at one point, but I didn't really catch it, um, and I didn't really uh, follow it out pretty well, but I thought this would be a cool little series to me try and get back into a set of Corsa. Uh, like, like I have been saying, I am jumping online now. Uh, so if anyone plays this game online, uh, I think my name's still Kevin Toll. Pretty sure. Um, so if you see me on there, say hello. And I will say hello back. Uh, but yeah, I've lost my train of thought of what I was speaking about before. I think it was about the wheel. So I've got the G920. And I will say this is not as good as the Thrustmaster wheel. For some reason, like the, the force feedback just feels like it's... I'm pretty sure I read into it, but the Thrustmaster was a belt driven. Like I'm not, I haven't looked into wheels. Like bear with me on this because I, <laughs> I only quickly looked at it. But the Thrustmaster was belt driven, which is a lot smoother. And I think this Logitech wheel is, I think it's um, like cogs. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So it's not as accurate, and it's a little bit more like clunky because you feel the cogs sort of going together. Uh, but it, I'm I'm starting to get there. I've got the force feedback feeling okay, um, so I'm just trying to get back into the game. And I think most I'm not blaming it on the wheel. I think yeah. Th at this point here, I start running the entry. I just cut through that little hairpin back there, and I just start running the entry backwards and forwards. Like this was quite a good entry. That was like 90 degrees, and I caught that quite well. So I was just trying to get the entry down for this track because uh, I know there is a lobby online for this track. Uh, look at this camera angle. If the camera angle stayed on that first angle for this entry, it would be so good. Like, wait till it comes back round. 
Like, I'm chuck, chucking in all the stuff here. I, I'm not editing out all my mistakes. I'm keeping them in. If they's kept this angle here the whole way to the corner, that'd be so good because you could run the wall and it would be a nut, such a nice angle. But for some reason, it changes to this camera. Uh, it's so frustrating. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've lost my train of thought again. But yeah, the Logitech. I'm trying to get used to it. Um, most of the mistakes, I'm not blaming it on the wheel. It is me. I'm just being sloppy. Like I need to get back into the throttle control, etc. And also, I will say as well this first time using this car uh, since coming back onto this game like all different car packs are out obviously uh, as the game progresses and all the mods keep coming out so i think this is the wdt i'm pretty sure uh wdt uh, 180sx and i hadn't used it before so i just slapped on a generic tune at the at the start which seemed to have worked on the drift playground track um, but yeah, I was struggling with this car in while recording this. Uh, for some reason, I don't know if it was my wheel or the car or the track or something like that. But at some points, I would lose all force feedback in the wheel. Like I turn it, and then it would lock to the left. It was very strange. Um, so some of these entries, I might spin out or something. Um, but I was having troubles with the wheel. And it, I think it might like this is my thought process behind what was happening. When I slapped the tune at the start, I lowered the car. And I think when I cut through this little hairpin back there, it goes over a big bump. And I think the wheels were like locking, or I don't know if that even happens on the set of course. So this is like probably overthinking it. Uh, but I was bumping over it. And maybe that had some effect on how the wheel was feeling. Um, but other than that, it must just be a game or the track or a wheel issue so we'll, we'll see how that progresses on other tracks uh, but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this um we're back i'm going to start doing more of these i'm going to go through the tracks uh, hopefully give you some highlights for online as well uh, hit some nice tandems also follow them on instagram i'm going to start putting reels up there um, i put some reels up um, of me tan tandeming online uh, on drift playground um, so if you want to check that out follow me on instagram and yeah, this is just probably my best run. I uh, just took a replay of probably my best run of the whole track. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Give it a subscribe. And yeah, let's get it drifting, you know. Let's get drifting. I've got to be a spare more time now. Um, so we'll try and get back into this. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, watch this end, yeah. Absolute. I went for the biggest entry. I was up, like, picked up so much speed. No, <laughs> too wide, bang. <laughs> Good way to end. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.